Hello everyone. So for one of my grad courses called IC599, I customized a flip-flop design for 3D printing for my final project. So before I go into the live demo, I'm going to briefly go over some slides for a good background so the live demo makes more sense. So let's talk about current flip-flops. They're very popular, speedy access, easy to wear, relatively cheap, and widely used, especially in this nice Ocal weather. However, this thin flat surface, and you look at the diagram to my right, you see a normal foot has an arch to it. Um, they're not the most comfortable, the fit isn't exactly perfect, limited cushioning and shock absorption, uh, they're injury prone, and I found this fact on a website that 200,000 patients are treated a year for foot flop related injuries, an estimated cost of $62 million, which is quite a lot. Um, also found some good quotes from Dr. Sue, an orthopedic surgeon at UCI. Um, his quotes say, foot flops are fine for a short walk or to the beach, but using them as a go-to shoe year-round can definitely lead to problems. Ideal footwear is stiffer, well-cushioned, and has a good arch built in it. Um, this is a nice diagram he also provides about uh, the problems with current flip-flops. I just want to highlight plantar fasciitis. This is the injury due to not having an arch in the flip-flop, which causes um, pain in the upper toe area of your foot and the heel. And it also mentions that look for sandals, flip-flops, for wall cushion and have good arch support. So now let's go on to the live demo. Before I show you my final product, I just want to show you a quick clip of it getting 3D printed through an FDM machine in Dr. Chen's lab. All right, so here is my live demo. Um, as you see here, you'll see four type of shoes. The first one's not really a shoe. I just used Crayola air dry clay to make a replica of my footprint. We can definitely see that I have an arch right here. Next, we have our regular normal shoe that I presented in the slides. Four bucks from Target. And here are my printed models. So this is the thermoplastic urethane I was gonna use, but it failed in printing because uh, it did not have enough integrity in the printer at Dr. Chen's lab, so here you only got the bottom, but it's definitely a lot more flexible, and it would have been good material if the printing was successful. Now, here is my product. So I had to use ABS instead, so it's pretty hard, but it's a great replica of the model of what it would look like. You can definitely see the arch inputted here, and like my footprint, it's sort of hard to see because it's white, but here, here's a good, good visual of it. I also added some treads because a lot of the flip-flops today don't really have treads either. It's like barely anything, but now we have a better grip. And these holes are for the straps I would incorporate later in the future work. But basically, you can definitely see that the new model has an arch and it's a better representation of the bottom of my foot as shown in the clay and i'll put a reference on here that it's a perfect fit because i use calipers to measure my feet but if it's really nice and when i stand on it i definitely feel more comfort and uh, a lot more stability and it just fits my foot perfectly and here's an example of a commercial flip-flop It was hard finding the right size firstly and it's a bit uncomfortable and very loose That's what I meant on fits of current flip-flops But you definitely see that there's a lot more room here and a lot more um, this room can cause a lot more injury than a perfect fit flip-flop that fits the groove of my and the arch of my foot. But here you go. Here's a demo of the comparison between my CAD model and a commercial flip flop. Now I'm gonna go back to the slides to talk about the FEA I performed using ANSYS. Um, for the FEA, I used a paper called Experimental Gait Analysis to study stress distribution of the human foot. Um, you can clearly see 
that um, when we stand and move around, that uh, the arch is sort of uh, voided and a lot of the stress goes into the front part of our foot and the heel, which you can clearly see here. So I did an FE similar to that. So this is for a flat foot flop. Um, I did a stress test on the front and it gave around a 30.054 Newton max. But with my new model, it only gave a 26.913 max. So it shows a better uh, stress distribution with the new model, CAD model I have. Now for deformation test, yeah, it barely deforms. This is more towards the heel. I just want to like, I did a lot of FBAs, but I want to show a good even distribution of where I added the stresses and such. And you see a deformation of around 0 0.006 for the normal flat structure. But with my new CAD model, you see almost half of the deformation, which is 0 0.003 concluding that my model um, better uh, distributes the st stress given through the foot and it deforms less too. And that concludes my video presentation. Uh, I just want to go over some acknowledgements. Firstly, I want to thank Dr. Chen for mentoring me throughout the project, Hua Chao and Jie for helping me uh, 3D print my model. And lastly, my friend Noah, who helped me with the FEA using ANSYS. Thank you, everyone.